So you're ready to move up, you're ready for a promotion at your company, congratulations. In this video, we're gonna talk about how do you justify that promotion or how do you talk to your boss about that promotion in a way that's really impactful and data-driven, that's gonna be the big thing. Stay tuned, I got some awesome tips for you. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben Preston, author of Harness Your Butterflies and creator of the Career Accelerator Program, helping professionals just like you create the career that you've always wanted. If you're interested in professional development advice, career advice, leadership advice, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I have new videos every Tuesday. Drop me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and let's jump into the tips. So preparing a business case or some sort of uh, justification for a promotion is oftentimes really nerve wracking. It like makes me shake a little bit even just thinking about it. It's nerve wracking, but it's sometimes something that can be really powerful, especially if you feel like you need that justification or you need that um, documentation and data to back what you're saying. So in today's video, I have five tips to help you out. Let's jump into it. Okay, the first one is more understanding the landscape. So if you're planning on selling, let's say selling yourself or selling your, um, you know, you are trying to sell yourself to get that promotion, you wanna make sure you know who you're selling to. The first step is understand your organization's values. Organizations like to hire and they like to promote a certain type of person, whether that is someone who has a certain strength or someone who has a certain perspective, Organizations like to bubble those people up to the top. So if you look at who are the top, kind of the top people in your organization, what do they have in common? Are they really strict with their business acumen? Are they really strategic? Are they, you know, it, it, it's kind of all over the board, but what are the things that they have in common that you should be able to build into your business case? In conclusion, when you understand your organizational values, then you're able to position that within your business case and present a better business case to your supervisor. Tip number two is prepare your business case. So find any, whatever type of uh, uh, mobility that you're looking for. If you're looking for, let's say a promotion or a salary increase, things that you wanna look at is, job descriptions, uh, your organizational career ladders, salary surveys like salary.com is a really great resource. Um, to be able to pull in those information, those data points, you might wanna look at future industry trends, where is the industry going? All of that type of stuff, you wanna bake it into your business case and say, basically creating a thesis of saying, here's why I think I should be promoted, one, because I think that I add X amount of value to the organization based on the career ladder, based on the job descriptions. Two, I think that this would be a good salary range for me because to bring me up to market standards. Um, whatever those types of things look like as part of your negotiation, part of your conversation, you wanna make sure that you bring those up. Tip number three, you wanna make sure that you're focusing when you're pulling the data, make sure that you're focusing on impact, not just the numbers. So when you're talking about, let's say a job description, you can say with this range or this job title, I'm limited to this position when really my skill sets and you know I'm able to do that plus a bunch of other stuff if I get promoted, um, you wanna focus on the impact that not only you have brought to the organization, but that you can bring to the organization if these changes are made. So when you're looking for a promotion or you're looking for that upward mobility, being able to outline, here's how I'm going to positively impact the organization, you know, by managing this team, integrating these two verticals, breaking down silos, like whatever those data points look like. If it's something where you are an expert in a certain industry and you're advocating that you get a promotion to oversee a new experiential part of the market, that type of stuff is all really, really important to bake into your business plan and make sure that your boss is aware of all of these contributing factors that you're not just bringing them up to say, I want a promotion, but you're laying out a plan and saying, this is how I view this promotion will benefit the organization. Tip number four, prepare testimonials if necessary. Sometimes if one of the things that you need to do as you move up is be able to work across functions and that's something that you've already been doing, you might wanna get testimonials from those individuals who can contribute or you know, if you wanna write them down or they can pass that info along to your supervisor, um, making sure that your supervisor knows that when you are working or when you have this in your mind, that you wanna work across multiple verticals and not just an individual silo, but you really 
have done and will continue to do cross vertical integration. And tip number five, you wanna outline how your role will change. So typically when you're moving into a promotion, the biggest question that a supervisor will have is, okay, if I move you into this position, what happens with the rest of the team? Now that's either your current role, your team members, your workflow, whatever that looks like. You wanna make sure that you have some sort of transition plan figured out, maybe not always written down, but definitely thought through when I move to this position, how is this gonna be affected? Will we need to hire someone? Will we be able to transfer someone internally? Will we be able to uh, you know, share resources across divisions? What does that look like to bridge that gap? How is it potentially gonna save the company money? All of those types of things are things that you wanna think through, especially when you're justifying a promotion to your supervisor. And the more that you have all of this figured out, the better that it will look on your supervisor because they're gonna say this person's really thought out what they wanna do. Good luck with your conversations. If there's anything else that I missed, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, that's all that I have for you. If you're interested in more of this type of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Leave me a thumbs up if this video was helpful. I have new videos every Tuesday, so I look forward to seeing you there.